so I want to propose to my girlfriend. And I work in tech. Hmm. The grand idea? Make a VR game that turns into a trip down memory lane and get my girlfriend to play it. Here's the plan. Set up the VR gear and hide a nicer outfit. Ask a few friends to hide before we get there. Arrive with my lady and have an awesome colleague from work pretend she's the indie game dev. Change into nicer clothes while she is getting geared up. Bring out our friends to watch the show. Feel bad about my lady crying with a VR headset on. And then ask the question and hope for the best. Last step. Hopefully, celebrate? Well, that's great and all, but how do we get here? Sometimes you try something and it just doesn't work. So goodbye, shade of breath. This thing would actually have a button on top that I could press, but for some reason that's bugged out right now. What do you think? One more memory? One Shot Metamorphosis is a short and scary Halloween themed mod for the original game that starts off familiar enough but quickly dissolves into a progressively more confusing and ultimately very sad short story. Similar to base one shot, you wake up in Nico's house, but there's a very obvious distinction. The person you wake up as is decidedly more human-like, complete with ears and normal eyes. Even the narrative dialogue doesn't refer to you as Nico, just the child. You fumble around Nico's house, making puzzle-based decisions in traditional one-shot fashion, but then something very odd happens because after solving the typical door puzzle at the beginning of the game, time skips forward and we're immediately talking to Silver. No profit bot introduction, no jelly-based puzzles, we're immediately in this exact moment of the story. Before I continue, just know that videos on RPG Maker mods and stuff like that don't really have much of a presence on YouTube, so by all means, subscribe and join the Discord server in the description so that you can be kept up to date on when new one-shot fan projects come out. We're meant to fill in some of the blanks ourselves since this mod is built on the assumption you experienced the normal game, so having gotten the whole spiel about being the messiah, the child can communicates this to Silver. Silver is as straightforward and honest as ever, telling the child pretty much the exact same thing that she told Nico, the fact that restoring light to the world with the sun will not save the entire world on its own, and that the whole thing is a fool's errand. But as we already know, this is not enough to deter Nico or this new character from completing their mission. This is where things start to get really strange because time skips forward again, and we're in Alula's company, and I'm not sure why we skipped to this exact moment out of all the scenes in one shot, but it's fine because Alula's just the best, if we're being perfectly honest. Just like the previous scene, things play out mostly the same, but Alula does make a remark about how she's surprised the Messiah is a normal kid like her. We skip forward to the next scene once more, and we're in the refuge with Kelvin and a bunch of cats. One of them meows at the child before taking its leave. Keep this in mind because, believe it or not, it becomes important later. We go through what is assumed to be the last time skip, and we're at the climax and final confrontation that wrecked the hearts of many a one-shot fan for years now, the Tower Room. And it's here that this mod opens up to us and we start to see the exact format it's going for because we wake up in Nico's house again, and this time as Nico himself, albeit with adorable ears 